I'm Elton Sherwin, and this is the story of Sodom and Gomorrah from the Bible and Homosexuality video series. No story has had uh, greater influence on the Christian condemnation of homosexuality than the story of Sodom and Gomorrah. In Genesis 19, I will summarize. Two foreigners arrive in Sodom. They're actually angels disguised as foreigners. Lot, the servant of the Lord, insists that they stay at his house and not sleep in the town square. All the men of the city surrounded Lot's house and called out, where are the men who came with you tonight Bring them out to us so that we can have sex with them. Well, the story ends badly for Sodom. The angels save Lot and some of his relatives, but God destroys the city. What was his message? Is it a story about mob violence, gang rape? It turns out God had been angry with Sodom for a while. And the prophet Ezekiel tells us why. Sodom's sins were pride, gluttony, and laziness, while the poor and the needy suffered outside of her door. Where are all the gay guys? Where's the sodomy? Where are the homosexuals? Not there. This is a story about mob violence, gang rape, and the poor treatment of foreigners. No gays in it. Wow. Scholars weigh in. There is not the least reason to believe as a matter of either historical fact or revealed truth that the city of Sodom and its neighbors were destroyed because of their homosexual practices. The whole city was not gay males. All the men from every part of Sodom, both young and old, surrounded the house. Well, what if, somehow, all the men from every part of the city were homosexual rapists? Seems pretty unlikely, but what if? Well, then the lesson has to do with homosexual gang rape, and we can all agree that gang rape, homosexual or straight, is a sin. But the story has nothing to do with consensual sex, homosexual or otherwise. The story of Sodom and Gomorrah is the first of what are now called the clobber verses, seven scriptures used to condemn the LGBTQ community. When speaking of homosexuality, the story of Sodom and Gomorrah is Christianity's original sin, a lie retold so frequently, so confidently, it is now common wisdom embedded in our language. Except it has nothing to do with consensual homosexuality. So if you were raised in a conservative denomination and have been told all your life that the Bible clearly condemns homosexuality, you may be feeling a little bit betrayed and angry at this point. The flagship anti-gay story, Sodom and Gomorrah, has nothing to do with consensual homosexual activities. Well, hold your righteous indignation because as we'll see over the next several videos, it gets even worse. Well, next up in our series, The Bible and Homosexuality, The Murder of the Levite's Concubine. And following that, a video masterclass. So a deeper discussion of these two difficult passages. Why were groups of straight men interested in sexually assaulting foreign men? foreign visitors. In both stories, they even turned down virgins to molest the foreigners. Well, three theories have been proposed and they will undoubtedly surprise. I look forward to seeing you next time when we discuss 
the murder of the Levites, concubine.